Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol TOCA. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then makes mapping out were levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. As you saw, I just uh, manipulated the chart a little bit to make this perspective easier to see. But with that big gap down, it is a, a little bit uh, more difficult to track. But as we see here, plenty of, uh, uh, you know, plenty of space here to map out some of these key levels going forward. So yeah, a very, very crazy mover today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down there at the volume and well above average volume. So definitely a lot of eyeballs on this one going into Friday. So let's get some areas of support and then resistance mapped out. Key level of support, and this by no means is any sort of great discovery on my part, but it's right down here at the 83 cent mark. 83 cents was essentially the bottom portion of the consolidation. So the first 30 minutes, I mean, you gotta give credit where credit's due. Price made a great move to the upside, and then the price rolled back over, and that's always when things get a little nerve wracking because it's a matter of, uh-oh, you know, is this thing gonna roll back over and crash, or is it gonna build some sort of higher base? And that is where the, you know, the, the chart gave us the answer there. It didn't crash, went right down there to 83, found some support, and then got a little miniature bounce right there and which leads us to the resistance here that I'll talk about in a second. And then once again, the price rolled back over and has found some support right around that area. Didn't quite hit 83, but definitely close enough to it right there. Uh, so that's an area to you know continue to keep an eye on uh, from the support st standpoint. Like I said, a lot of eyeballs are gonna be watching that level because uh, if that level does not hold up, there's no such thing as a guarantee, so I'm not saying that, but it also would not be shocking to see the price then drift down to the 73 cent mark because from the charting perspective, when you just look back at the history, there just simply aren't any other areas of support. So again, that doesn't mean it's guaranteed to go down there, but would not be shocking in the least because for the lack of supports, you know, if there's any sort of break of 83. Now, what about levels of resistance? Earlier, I mentioned this level, and that is right here at $1.03. So on two separate occasions during that first nice upward surge, and then the price pulled back, and then when it returned back upwards, once again got rejected right at that area. So dollar three, definitely a very important level of resistance going forward. So keep an eye on dollar three, and if the price can break through there, then yeah, definitely some more potential room to run. But the other important thing is it's gotta continue to go through the health consolidation by staying up above 83. So we'll see how this one closes out the week on Friday. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.